Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Paper Mario. I'm DJ Cinnabon and of course this is Paper Mario. In the last episode, we finished up just about everything in Flower Fields. We destroyed the Huff Puff machine, we got everything all sunny back again, and now we have this wonderful, wonderful music. I actually really, really like this music. It's just really, really relaxing. Just, just listen to that. That soothes the soul right there. That is soul soothing. If there ever was soul soothing music. However, now we need to uh, plant this magical bean. And we gotta water it, of course, and you gotta use the soil. And what comes from a magical bean? Nothing else but a beanstalk, of course. Of course, what else would come from it? <laughs> This is also another cutscene in the game that I absolutely love. I think this is just one of the coolest cutscenes there is. Because we, we get the zoomed out shot, you can see this nice spiraling be beanstalk just coming out of the ground. And it goes through the clouds and there's the ice cream cones, some cherries, a lollipop, an apple. It's just really cool and I, I really, really like it. It's a bit of a shame that I think that's the only time you really get to see that, but... Yeah, and now we have to go up there. Well, um, I'm all healed up and I got everything on. Uh, if you're curious, these are the badges I'm using. Won't be changed, I don't believe. So, here we go. And ready for the most jarring thing in probably the entire game? From this beautiful, soft, soothing music to this. It just doesn't have the same... Like, it sort of sounds like the beam prank going music, but like... It's just... It sounds... Oh, I guess you see this picture here too. Um, but it's just that little bit difference, and it makes... It makes a big difference. I, I found that really jarring when I first played through this game. And I still do. I think it's weird. But before we do too much up here... If we come jump on this cloud back here, and we let it carry us all the way up in this soft, soothing, cloudy environment, we actually have a badge over here, by uh, the Super Jump Charge, which when we use it, our jump attack's power goes up by three. So, if you're like a big user of the uh, jump attacks, that is the badge for you, oh my lord. You will... You, you will show some people some stuff if you use that badge. But we just have to make our way over this way. Like I said, I am going to be trying to use Lack... Lack... Lack of Lester. Spike. I'm going to use Spike a bit more, so he's going to be joining me in this fight as much as possible. I know I said Paracarry is very useful, but... Spike. I think Spike will do the job just fine. And here we have this one cloud that's sort of out of place, so let's... <laughs> oh, I love that noise. The oh, it's so good. It's so good! I was the one that broke the puff puff machine. Well, that's not a very good plan, because this isn't cloud field, this is flower field. And, as we see there, uh, Spike actually used to work for this guy. So, and I think Spike actually mentioned it earlier on, but this really clarifies it. So, let's take him down and get that Star Spirit back. So, this is Huff and Puff. Huff and Puff can be a little bit tough. Yes. <laughs> um, he has 60 HP. Um, however, it goes... it's a little weird. Because every time we hurt him, a couple little puffs are gonna pop out of him. Um, I do rec you can only really use jump attacks on him, uh, but those little puffs that he pop out of him can actually, he can actually suck them back in and they will heal himself. He heals himself with the little puffs. So, it's best to get rid of as many of those as possible when you get the chance. I would, ah, you know what, I'm j I think I'm just going to use the normal jump 
because I think it's going to be best if I save as much FP as, as I can for Lackluster to uh, do this attack. Because this will not only knock out all of the, uh, the little pots, but it will also damage him. And the big thing with this boss fight that I found, oh my god, the button mashing. So you're probably going to hear me button mash a little bit. Right. Ooh, only four. That's not so bad. It's not so bad. And this is when I was talking about him inhaling the little pups. And he gains a little bit of health back. So that can be a little problematic. But it's not too bad overall. Because we are doing eight damage to him. Or seven. And if he's only getting three back. So we're doing four damage per turn. So that's not really not that bad. I think it's Is it? Oh. No, we're doing more than that. We're doing like 12 damage. Oh no, here's another big attack. So, the farther over we get our the bar, uh, the less damage he does. And if you get it right to the end, you'll only do two damage if you get it there right at the very last moment. Um, that can be a little bit tough, but uh, it's not too too bad. Just gotta, just gotta keep button mashing. And this is actually a strategy that I, I don't know if I've seen anywhere else, but it works really well. It takes him down quite quickly. No, this is actually going pretty good. Sometimes he does heal himself more often, but like that's something you can't really predict, you know. So. Do what you can. He does ha actually have another attack that I'm sure he'll use at some point, which I actually have to save a few FP for just in case. Which I think he might. Oh yeah, he's going to use it right now. I think. I think it's going to be coming up right away. Um, he charges himself up with electricity, and then he can do like a. Oh yeah, right here. So he charges himself up with electricity, and he does a whack load of damage the next turn if you don't hide yourself. So, what I like to do is you change your members over to Bow, because Bow's awesome. And then you can use, since we still have a turn with Mario, uh, why don't we use Star Storm? Star Storm would be good. Because I don't, we can't hit him while he's electrified, otherwise, we will get hurt as well. And that's like the last one we really want. We need Star Storm. Do a little bit of damage on him. And Bo can use Out of Sight on Mario. And then we don't have to worry about this big attack at all. Of course, Merly. Why do you come in? I'm already using Bo. You don't need to like increase my defense. <laughs> really, you don't. Because I'm already 100% safe. And like, look at this move. Yeah, that would have been devastating to Mario. So that's why we got hidden away and everything. Now this is a bit of an awkward position, because I don't really know what I should be doing. Because I can heal up, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. If I can hit him. You know what, I think, I think I'm going to hit him. Yeah. I think that's going to be about my best choice. Hopefully it doesn't fight me, fight me flat soon. Okay, I should be okay. Should be okay. Oh man, he's going to get so much health back. 12 health, wow, okay. Um... I think, I think this turn is a turn for uh, Smooch. I don't think we've shown off Smooch yet, but this is Smooch. So, sum, summons up the little star, the little star comes and says, Oh, hey Mario, what's happening? Give you a little peck on the cheek right there. And she runs away like that. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> yep, best description right there. So I'm going to come back to Lackluster. Because, well, he's pretty good. Then, I think I'm going to use Spiny Clip. 
Spiny flip on him is significantly easier than on other enemies because, well, he's so big. So, this shouldn't be too bad. I think we're just about done. I haven't really been keeping track of his health, but if you look at his size, that generally tells you how much you have left. But I'm gonna have to do more button mashing. Holy crap. He's really giving myself a workout. Come on, go, 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 go. Two! Come on, two! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I like getting the two. The two makes me feel good on the inside. Okay. That was pretty good. Uh, do a spiny surge right here. Get rid of all you guys. Ooh, man, that's so good. That's good stuff. Come on. Whew. Whew, I'm getting a workout on this. Okay, I think we're just about done. I believe this is the last message he says right before, like, he's in the last little bit of his health. So next turn we should be able to be, we should finish him off. But he does a whole whack of damage, 7 damage, yeah. Really hits hard there. So, let's see if we can't finish him off with Mario, and if not Mario... Oh, there we go! And that was Huff and Puff. Little tricky, but like, if you just keep at it and like keep your button mash and arm strong, holy crap! <laughs> well, guess what? You just lost. Wow. Whew. I am so glad we're not gonna have to do like any more button mashing like that for a long time. Very, very glad. Because that was a workout in and of, in and of itself. And with that we get our new Star Spirit. End of chapter. Oh, and boy am I happy to be done that chapter. You know, Looking back on it, the fetch quest isn't so bad, but it's still pretty annoying. And I'm, but I'm just happy it's done, and we can move on to a really cool ch chapter next. Cause I really like the next chapter, cause it's so awesome. However, we do have a little bit of a peach segment coming up right here, and this peach segment stands out a little bit. Um. Because if you remember last time, as Peach is saying right now, we just got the, uh, she, she won the Sneaky Parasol. So, now that we have it, um, we can transform into someone else. So, as normal, let's get out of here. So more than ever, this is like Metal Gear Peach. <laughs> to put it lightly, this is Metal Gear Peach. Um, because as we get out of here, we can just go like this, uh, this, and all of a sudden, I'm a, I'm a guard. Yep, just that easy. So we have to make it to the library, and I can't remember where that is. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Oh, well. <laughs> like I said, just a little bit of exploring quickly turn into him, because, well, what, do you have anything to say? Oh, okay, well, that was sort of interesting. Um, blah, blah, blah. Anything here? No. This is a really cool segment. I like how Peach is able to turn into uh, the different people. Oh, cool! We got a, We even got a shooting star. Those are pretty good. That's actually a really good item to have. If you can, hang on to it, as many as those as you can, because they don't come that often. So, I guess, I guess we're out of here. That must have been what I was thinking about that, that was in here. So, you know what? Let's see how far out we can get. Because, like... I don't want to be here anymore. I'm sure Peach doesn't want to be here anymore. And well, 
We do have a Hammer... Hammer Bros? I think this is a Hammer Bros costume. Locked. Can't open it. What do you guys say? Stop loitering. Okay, well... Hmm. Interesting. Ah. <sighs> Back in here. You know, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get out, so... Let's... Let's head out. Let's let's see how far in we can go. Because now we're now we're incognitus, and I'm sure this guard doesn't want to be here anymore. Maybe maybe we can relieve him. Yep, just on patrol. Don't mind me, patrol. Me and this little star are on patrol. This is just such a cool segment. I really like stealth games. Um, looks like that. Okay, well, you know what? I'll go find them. So, now we, have, now we have to go become a clubber. Which is pretty cool, because clubbers are pretty awesome. So now we have to make it all the way out of the castle. Right back to the door I was at earlier. But like I was saying, I really like stealth games. Uh, like obviously this isn't a stealth game here, but like the avoiding the flashlights and all that, I really enjoy that. I think that's a lot of fun. And I think uh, one of the best examples that, of that in a game would be the Sly Cooper series. I absolutely love that series, and I played it to death when I uh, when I first got it. And I even picked up the uh, HD collection for the PlayStation 3. And boy, is that a good collection. Okay, well, that's locked. And if you have a PS3 and you've never played the Sly games, I would highly recommend it. I don't know why I keep pushing the P button. I keep thinking I can attack. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend any of the Sly games. They're so cool and so much fun. I'm actually watching a... A let's play of one right now. I'm not to like shoot you guys away, but if you are interested in watching a Sly Cooper let's play, um, a really good one I'm watching right now is on Starman Plays. Uh, I just recently discovered him. Uh, and he's, uh, I think it's his first LP, but he's doing a really, really good job with it. And I would highly recommend you guys go out and check him out because he's doing a really good job and I like. And he's actually pretty talented at the game, too. And, I don't know, tell him I sent you. <laughs> I don't know. If, if you like his stuff, de like def definitely subscribe to him. All Any small Let's Player, like, if you like their stuff, subscribe to him. Like, it, it probably me. I'm not going to discredit the big Let's Players, but to get a couple subscribers for them is not a big deal, but they appreciate it. But if you look at a small Let's Player, such as myself, like, getting one is a huge deal. So, definitely check out any small Let's Player, because it's, it's appreciated. Now, hopefully we can finish up this. Okay, there we go. Let's cross here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Cammy, never mind. Oh, gotta see quiet. Everything's ready. Oh man, that doesn't sound good. Oh, okay, good, she didn't notice us. Oh, 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 hi, yeah, what about me? Thank you. Damn it, Peach, why'd you have to put on the good perfume? Why couldn't you put on smelly dog or something? <laughs> The Smelly Dog Deodorant. Believe it or not, it's a reference to something. If you know the reference, good on you. Because <laughs> I don't know how many people would like pick that up. And this is Clevar. I see, I see what they did there. And I believe he is... If not... No, wait, no, this isn't the next attacking star. 
the next star is the next attacking star, because otherwise we only have one attacking star. So he gives us his star power. And that's all merry and good. Yeah, he has timeout, which uh sort of stops everything. It's like a stopwatch, like one of the items. Um, I don't use it very often. I just more or less use Smooch and uh, Star Storm because those are the best ones. But yes, a, an even stronger enemy awaits us and blah blah. But that actually uh, finishes up everything we have to do in Flower Fields. We do not have to come back here at all, which is so good. And that's going to be it for today. Um, if you like what you've seen, like and subscribe. In the next episode, we'll be tackling like all of Toe Town sewers. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. And until then, I've been DJ Sinnenbun, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!